Dear friends, a lot of people were unhappy that I made the video on the bluest tie only in Malayalam. So here I am going to tell you the story in English. The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison is a heart-rending story. You know, in our society, a lot of people are suffering because they are either low in class or low in caste, low in race. In America, the black people were suffering a lot. You can't believe how much they are treated like animals as if they are not even human beings and it affects the psychology of these people especially the children a lot here we see the story of pecola breed love a black girl who is suffering because nobody loves her and she is thinking that if she gets blue eyes then she will be loved and accepted by everybody these are the 1930s, the time of Great Depression. There is a lot of poverty in America and even the white people are suffering. You know, all the black people are not uh, upset with their race. A lot of people think black, black, uh, a lot of black people think black race is bad. There are mothers who don't even love their children. But there are also black people who are proud of their race. Such a family in America is the McTeer family. And there are two children there, Claudia and Frida. Claudia is telling us the story of Pecola. Pecola used to live in Claudia's house before because Pecola's own father destroyed their house. He burned the house. And Claudia and Frida used to love Pecola. Pecola used to love drinking milk. Their mother, Mrs. McTeer, was very angry with Pecola one day because Pecola drank all the milk. You know why Pecola loved to drink milk? Because she thought that she would have blue eyes like the actress Shirley Temple. She was so desperate because she wanted acceptance. She wanted love. Shirley Temple represented the beautiful girl with an ideal family. Pecola wanted such kind of beauty because then she thought her family would also be ideal. The novel begins with such a depiction of such a picture of the ideal family. From the children's reader, you know, children read uh, certain books in school. And such a children's reader is Dick and Jane reader representing an ideal family. Hmm. The black families are never ideal like that. The novel uh, Blue as Tie begins with Dick and Jane reader but without punctuation, without even space to show the breakdown of the black, black families. The breakdown of the Dick and, Dick and Jane reader, the breakdown of the language in this story, Dick and Jane story shows the breakdown of the black families. The black families do not have such ideal settings. Pecola's family, the breed loves, they are living in the one room apartment close to a shop. It is not even a proper house. And Pecola's mother, uh, Pauline, loves the white children in the house where she is a maid servant. Pauline is a maid servant in a white family. She loves the white children there. She does not love her own children because she thinks they are ugly. Pecola has been brought up thinking that she is ugly. And you should understand that Pecola feels so frustrated, so uh, lonely, so unloved. Hmm. And Pauline used to... Uh, long for such beauty now she is taking refuge in the white children in the movies and her husband Kali is also frustrated Kali has had a lot of trauma because of his race Kali has been ill treated by the white people a lot Kali has been brought up without his father and Kali is also drinking these days. He doesn't love his wife anymore. He is a frustrated man. So what is Tony Morrison trying to show? Tony Morrison is trying to show that the black people are frustrated people. The black people 
are not able to love they are not able to feel pride in themselves and claudia and frida these little children they were selling marigold seeds in the beginning of the novel in order to make money for a, a bicycle they wanted to buy a bicycle they were selling marigold seeds seeds and they hear that pecola has been raped by her own father oh my god that is terrible for us middle class people you know who have been protected by our families we are getting educated we have mobile phones in which we can watch these videos for us it is a terrible thing but there are so many families all over the world because of so much frustration and trauma all these things are happening fathers sometimes rape their daughters and the, the, the world is a very bad world claudia and frida are so shocked and they see pecola she is like mad she has gone out of her mind she is she has lost her childhood and in her madness she is thinking that she must somehow get blue eyes she goes to a church man called soap head church who is also a west indian black man who has had his own traumas in his life he also had a neglected childhood and he has turned out to be a pedophile hmm and he is cheating pecola into thinking that if she feeds some poison to a dog pecola will get blue eyes he's cheating her and pecola does it and she thinks she got blue eyes of course she didn't we know that a woman a girl from a black race cannot get blue eyes but pecola thinks she got blue eyes she has gone mad she has now delivered a dead baby and she is um uh, searching in the garbage like a beggar woman and Claudia and Frida are so shocked because their marigold seeds also did not sprout in that spring it is an indication it is a symbol of how pecola lost her innocence and she will never get back what she lost she will never get love she will never get acceptance it is a very bad world there are also other kind of black women black families that are depicted like geraldine's family geraldine is from mobile a uh, place in america and there are mobile girls the black girls they think that they should live like the whites she also doesn't love her son junior junior is also a frustrated boy you know it is probably because of society's injustices that people turn into criminals yeah a lot of black people have turned into criminals but that is not their fault it is because they are not you know given a human life society denies them a human life they don't even have the basic requirements of a human being in life tony morrison shows a cross section of the black people and she is using the metaphor of seasons the novel begins in autumn after that we have winter and after that straight away summer and then spring it is a disruption you don't get what you want you're straight away moving into there is no growing up you know small uh, growing up then um, maturation then slowly you come to your old age it's not like that in your childhood itself it is autumn and winter that is how she is moving on in life pecola so this is a very heart rending story of how these poor children are deprived of their childhood and these poor children are completely lost in the politics of race and money poverty i hope you will read this novel it's an amazing novel the bluest eye by tony morrison